Okay, we're back with the Femi X8 Mini. A little happier today. I think I figured out the compass calibration. So this is how the past comes to the present. All the Hubsons and before that and compass calibrations on toy drones comes back to haunt us and we have to do that here. So I found out the easy way to do it and some other people have mentioned it is the calibration dance. So we've got a green light. I'm going to start my screen recorder. Three, two, one, one, go. And we're going to go into calibration. And we go up to calibration. Hit calibration. Now, as soon as I hit calibrate, the light will turn red. We pick it up with the sensors facing down with no obstruction. And we go around four times. One, and two, and three, and it turns green. So then we turn it up. One, two, three, and it turns red. And we put it down. And it's done. We press success. And we're all done, ready to go. Next thing is, when I stop being dizzy, I'll go out when the clouds clear and we'll see if it makes a big difference. And that's the calibration dance for the Femi X8 Mini. Works every time. Don't worry about if the status doesn't change on the pictures, look for the light. If the light doesn't change, just go around four times, turn it up, go around four more times, it'll still calibrate. Don't really rely on the lights, okay? But in this demonstration, it worked perfectly. So there you go. Easy, fun. It's not quite the two-step, but it's a great way to go. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye. Before I forget, just a few things. You know the uh, gimbal cover? Just be careful putting it on and off. I can see down the road somewhere is going to rip it off and rip the whole camera out. So it's very delicate, okay? And secondly, I'm noticing I'm only getting about maybe three batteries from the drone with the use of the controller, okay? So around three full uses of the battery and the controller needs recharging, okay? Hope that helps. See you in the next one.